Okay, just got the alarm turned off. So, gotta find the light switch. Kind of dark in there. Okay, well, this is your formal living. There is another light up there. The light bulb must be burned out. We've got a dark finish on the walls. I wish that light worked. Maybe it'll work over here. Okay, so the formal living space. Um, get a closer look at the finish that's on the walls. Here's an idea of it. It's a paint texture over a regular wall. Like there's no extra. It just feels like it's been um, plastered over and then there's been a paint finish applied. So we've got crown molding in here and your fireplace. Same rock as the front of the house. And then this is your formal dining room with the same rock on the wall. Six inch wood planks in here, very deep dark wood and all of the wood trim and everything is stained instead of painted. All right, so back to the front door. Let's walk straight ahead and see what's in here. This is another, there we go, getting some lights on. Another nook, and then here's the kitchen. So we've got the 12 foot ceilings in here. We've got some beams in the kitchen, architectural interest. And the blinds in here are brown, so everything is accented in that natural brown color. The stone under the breakfast bar area and on the front of the island is the same stone from the outside of the house. We've got the fridge oven and microwave, and here's the pantry. Turn on the light so you can see. The oh, pantry has two sides of shelving built into the corner. We've got some windows underneath the cabinets for some natural light on your counter level. That's awfully nice. The bevel on the edge of the counters looks like this. It's the same bevel on both. And this is a natural stone. And you've got four burners on this gas stove and there's the vent um, dishwasher and sink in the island in the middle here. And then there's your breakfast nook and there is a window seat. So let's see what the view is like out here. It's very bright on this side of the house right now because the time of afternoon it is, but you're looking out into the green belt on this side. So let's see what the backyard is like. Where's that key? Well, they have a pool back here. There we go. So we've got an outdoor kitchen that looks out onto the green belt. And we've got a pool. It's not diving, it's more of a relaxing pool. Swimming, be good for kids. Doesn't look terribly deep. And then if there's a fire pit over here, and you're backed up to a green belt. So you don't have the view, but you have the piece. And then to give you concept of where your neighbor's house would be, it's right there. So out here, they've got a cabinet for a TV over a fireplace and two fans. Out here, so the floor in this area is cement. This is kind of a cool feature. They've got these doors. We came out the easy doors. Let's go back in so you can see those. Not sure where you guys come from as far as um, outdoor living goes, but we're really big on it in San Antonio. And so a big thing that people are doing now is that they'll have these walls that open up completely. So the two doors in the center would open to each side and lock there so that you can have continuous outdoor indoor space. Nice for parties and stuff. Get a good flow. All right, so let's see what's back here. This is the informal living room that I'm in currently, walking to the hallway on the side, and I have found, I believe, the master. Lights would be good. There we go. Okay, found some lights. 
So we've got a bay window that looks out on the backyard. Carpet in this room. There is uh, shoe molding, no crown molding. Here is the master. Okay. And this master has some interesting tile on the floor. It's very nice. And then there's actually a coffee nook over here in the bathroom. We've got dual vanities, so this is the longer one. And then this is the shorter one. And there's a tub in the middle of the bathroom. I'm backing up against the coffee nook so you can see. So the tub has jets and everything in it, which allows for a shower back here that is actually, it goes all the way across. So I'm gonna walk through the shower in my shoes. Um, here are the controls for it. And you can see the tile, it goes all the way up. But in the middle, we've got two shower heads plus one that comes down from the ceiling. And the shower goes all the way across to the other side behind the tub. So now let's see what's over here. We have a sitting room. It's got carpet on the floor, so it's not a laundry room. And uh, I guess it'd be a good place for a nursery. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, the garage. So you can enter the one car garage side of the garage directly into your bedroom. And there's your water softener also. So the one car garage is actually completely separate from the two car side. And it enters through this little room and into the master bath, which is interesting. So this is one closet space. Let's see. All right, this is nice and big. Okay, backing up so you can see. Three rows of hanging all the way up on the top. Baskets. And this looks like it's probably a control panel for something. At one point. Oh yeah. So that's the shutoffs for all of the water and electric, I guess. One or the other. Obviously they wouldn't put them in the same place. So this closet goes through to the hallway over here, which is the laundry room. So you can go straight from your laundry room into your closet to put your stuff away. That's awfully nice. And here's the flooring in this room. There's another opening to the laundry room over here. And we will get there in just a second because I would like to see what else is in the master bathroom before we venture out of the master suite. So I'm back in the master bath. And this door says, do not pack. Okay, so we have a linen closet. And then your potty is right here next to the shower entrance. Here's the shower again where we walked through. So this is the master suite. Going back into the master bedroom. Okay, and there's a door right here across from the master bedroom, which is storage and in closet. Again, we have the arched doorways. So now we're back to the informal living room and the kitchen. Now I am not gonna go upstairs yet because I wanna see where that laundry room led to. So I'm walking around towards the front door, obviously, and then over here we have a half bath, powder room. And we've got the wood flooring in here again. Right across from that half bath we have oh, the Harry Potter closet under the stairs with hanging and storage. And then we've got a little hallway over here, which is going to lead to the laundry room. So we found the other entrance to it. And then right in there is the master closet. Okay, so turning around from the laundry room, I'm looking at the garage door, which leads to the two-car garage. It's a little bit narrow for a two-car garage. I'm sure it would hold two cars. It just doesn't have extra storage over here. Currently, it's holding two motorcycles and a bed. We've got a lot of bike racks and hanging racks and stuff on the side. Okay, so let's go see what's upstairs.
three stairs and then we turn. The carpeting is in pretty good condition. And here's what the banisters and the spindles look like. So I'm right at the top of the stairs. There's the front door. We've got a decorating area over here on the side. I'm looking at what looks like two bedrooms and a bathroom. And here's a living space. And there's more doors. So let's go this direction and see what we find. Turning right, we have a bedroom that has beadboard from about four feet down, which I did not expect. There's wood in here. This would make a good office. It's set up, I mean, it's uh, situated initially to be a bedroom because it has a closet in it. It's very manly, very masculine in here with all the wood. And then it's got a glass paint door. And here's your bathroom with the single vanity tub shower combo. And then right across from the masculine office room, man cave, we have a bedroom. This window, I've got very light blocking shades out here. It looks out over the green belt again. But the, the light is hitting this side of the house right now. It's mid afternoon. So I would imagine that those are there to keep the room from getting hot. All right, back into the loft living space, and I'm gonna see what's over here. They've got this room set up as a movie room. Oh boy, is it ever dark, my goodness. Okay, lights. All right, so they've got different carpet in here to make it darker. The walls are painted the dark brown. They've got these cool beams in the room, and there's two on the sides of the doors on either side. Got it set up for a TV mount. And then the recessed light up here. So there's no window in this room, which makes it good for a movie room. And there are double doors that would close it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights and close the double doors so you can see how it could be pitch black in there. No light whatsoever into the cinema room. So I'm in the middle of the upstairs living space, turning to my left. And let's see what's in this place. A bedroom. We've got that beadboard paneling from about four feet down. In this room, it's painted pink, and we've got carpet on the floors. P. Um, the ceiling is pitched a little bit in the corners, just a little bit. Arched doorways. Closet. Got two racks of storage. And then this is a Jack and Jill. No, nope. maybe. Single vanity right here. Looks like style stone. And there's the light fixture over the top. We've got the tub shower combo. Potty. Linen closet. And then it is a Jack and Jill because here is the other side. The jack part, because I would assume that Jill had the pink floors, I mean the pink walls. So this has beadboard also, a little bit different beadboard. The other was the more traditional narrow spaced one inch boards, and this one's about two inches. And we've got the pitched ceiling just on the side. And over here we have closet. This closet's a little bit bigger than the other one. And then Attic access, it looks like. Yeah. We've got attic access. Woo, it's warm. Got hot today. So there's two water heaters up here. Air conditioning. A little bit of decking for storage. Not a ton. Blown in insulation. Yeah. Fun thing about Texas is that one day it's winter, two days later it's summer. So our high was 50 two days ago, and today the high's in the 90s. You get used to it. <laughs> so here's the closet in the hallway. No hanging racks or anything, just storage. Good place for a vacuum cleaner. So this is the house 
Oh, I forgot to show you the view from the back. All right. So this is the back patio upstairs. You can hear some of the noise from Babcock out here. And whoever's having a party, wherever they are, I hear music. But there's nobody directly behind you. And you can see down to the pool from up here. All right, so this is the house on Falcon. And I'll see you at the next one.